Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Asset Management Report. Today is Thursday, March 27, 2008. As auto features take hold in more 401k plans, sponsors may need to rethink their policies on loans and early withdrawal to maximize the benefits of having more participants involved, a study by J.P. Morgan Asset Management suggests. The J.P. Morgan AM study focuses on the different savings habits in 10 different industries and inadequacies in participant savings across the board. It demonstrates that the likelihood of a participant will take a loan or early withdrawal increases as they save more, as the participant feels more comfortable with their level of savings, defined contribution, and savings plan alert reports. Staying with Asset Management News, replacing its share incentive plan, New Star Asset Management plans to offer cash bonuses when the scheme matures in August next year, the UK's Employee Benefits Group reports. The new scheme will consist of cash bonuses for the majority of employees together with a long-term share incentive plan for 35 of the firm's most senior employees. Historically, the organization has not paid cash bonuses to employees. It is expecting to put its proposals for the new scheme to shareholders during the current half of the year. And in asset management news in China, China Asset Management has been granted regulatory approval to absorb CIDIC fund management into its business, Asian Investor Reports. Previously unheard of in the universe of fund management in China, the merger is set to conclude in the months ahead as the largest shareholder, CIDIC Securities, has agreed the regulation cap on maximum ownership in fund management houses. The deal should have gone through a few years ago when the government decreed no one company could own more than a single controlling share and a second minority share in fund management companies. But neither party was keen to force the issue, and the officials at the China Securities Regulatory Commission had other priorities. China AMC is currently 100% owned by Citic Securities, which is also a 100% shareholder in Citic Funds. Furthermore, Citic Securities holds a, mar- a majority in a third fund company, Citic Prudential Fund Management, a joint venture with UK insurer Prudential. And in other asset management news in Asia, Pro, uh, Providential Holdings has launched Providential Asset Management, a joint venture between Young New York Partners and Providential Capital, a division of Providential Holdings. Under the terms of the agreement, Young New York Partners has a 40% stake in the venture, while Providential Capital will retain 60% ownership. ProAm specializes in asset allocation, restructuring, and risk management services for Vietnamese companies. And that rounds out today's asset management report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our asset management channel online and read the latest developments.